Hi there. Um, I'm going to walk you through building uh, a small bookcase for, I'm, I'm building it for my niece, so I'm going to build a couple of these actually. Um, so th this was from a magazine. She liked the kind of the design of it, so I'm going to just kind of copy this design. Um, so, so basically, uh, the dimensions on this, which will show up here in a second, um, this is the, the real basic dimension. So it's basically 40 inches wide, uh, 22 and a half inches wide, or uh, high, and 12 inches deep. So I'm using a, a piece of three quarter inch, um, four by eight sheet of, of, of MDF for the main build of this thing. So I've already cut a bunch of the pieces up here and I'm showing the, the kind of the, the seat, which is upside down. That's the bottom piece there. So I've already drilled holes and, and countersunk them for adding the supports into the, that bottom piece. Um, so I'm gonna use some screws and I'll, I'm gonna glue everything. Um, you really have to be generous on the glue on MDF. So I'm going to draw, you, for the supports, I'm going to just put pocket holes into those to drive those into the seating area to hold those in. Again, so I'll glue those in and then I'll also screw them into the uh, seating area. So there's three of those. Um, so they're basically 12 inches deep. I think they're nine inches wide. Um, so then I have to get all these pocket holes put in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, is, uh, I'm going to get this thing set up. I got it kind of just laid out um, so you can see the pocket holes on the bottom of those. And I'm going to, I'm going to use a, my right angle drill because I have to get into those pocket holes. So now I'm going to glue it up. And again, you want to be pretty generous with the glue. Um, also, you want to do pilot holes on almost everything you do into. So you're going to go into the grain of, a, of that MDF. If you try to screw uh, into those things, typically it will split the wood. The, well, the MDF will split. So you can see I'm just kind of I'm going to glue these up, so I'm going to I'm going to do all three of these right now. So basically, just getting it glued up. I'm going to clamp it on both sides. Um, again, I already have the holes already drilled on the bottom, and I'm using a basically I'm using a number eight uh, inch and three quarter inch, just a construction screw for all the for all these bottom holes. You do see a lot of glue squeezing out, which is fine, and it's easy to clean up. And the, the good thing about MDF is it is it's pretty easy to clean up. And this will be painted too, so I'm not concerned if I was doing like a stain. Okay, so now I've got the uh, the other sides to do, so I'm I've, or the other piece to do. So I'm do, repeating the same thing again. Just going to clamp it and uh, screw it in. So just, just a picture showing it, it's just sitting on top, it's not actually attached yet, so that's the, the seating section. So now I'm going through how I'm going to attach this guy, so i got to get it, everything, I just got it set on there, I'm going to get it screwed, and I'm going to mark the locations of where I'm going to have to, to attach that at. So this is this is making sure everything has to be perfectly square, so I got it, I got it set right, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to mark all the locations on the front and the back, so that I... Because I, when I put the glue on it, the thing's going to want to slide around. So you have to make sure you get it right. So what I ended up doing with this, because I had the time, is I just glue, I, I got it glued and I set it in place. And I clamp, after I, I don't show, but I, I, I did clamp that those pieces together. I let it sit um, for probably three or four hours. Um, so, but you could, you could just, uh, you could do this, the, uh, the pocket screws um, with the clamps on, but it just, just made it a little easier. So here, here it is. A few hours later, everything's pretty. The glue is set hard, well enough that I can actually drill into it. I didn't have to keep the clamps on it. So that's where I'm putting the pocket screws in. Like I said, I had to use my right angle drill because you won't be able to get a a, a regular drill onto that. So basically, just driving three screws per each of the supports, um, and uh, it, it seem it seems to be pretty uh, pretty tough. It doesn't. It, there's not a lot of movement in it once it's once it's set. So now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to attach the, the sides to it. Um, so as you can see on the bottom, I have already have the, the pre-drilled holes and the, and the counter sinks in there. So I, and I'm attaching this little um, piece of quarter round that I had. And what I'm using it for is it's going to be just a, a, a ledge for a, a small shelf I'm going to put in that you'll see, you'll see that later on. Um, so 
Again, glue it up. Be generous with your glue. That is MDF. It's going to absorb it like it's like a sponge. Um, you want you want it to be squeezing out. Um, easy. Again, I'm painting it, so I'm not concerned about the the squeeze out and, and the glue on the on the MDF. It's uh, not going to cause any issues. So once I had it, once I got it in place and squared in, I'm, I basically just clamped it up, and uh, and I can I'll. Uh, drive again these are inch and three quarter inch number eight uh, construction screws um, and, and the main thing that's really holding this is the glue it really isn't the, I mean the screws do help with some support but the glue is really where the strength comes in, in holding the MDF together again just just making sure um, I'm, I'm marking where I'm going to be drilling the holes through that side into the other into the top so I'll drill I'll drill three of those um, again put put do the same thing countersink it put the screws to it um, and this is this is just doing the other side same thing I, I basically just uh, brad nailed that thing into the the edge you have to make sure you get that level because um, that's kind of a key is you can see that other on the on this the piece with the angle on it has the the other piece of of angle uh, or quarter round that I had cut. I actually cut a 15 degree bevel into that too, so that it would actually be flat when you lay the shelf on it. Um, again, same 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 exact process. You're just gonna get everything set, make sure everything's squared up, um, and then I've got got everything glued, and I'm ready to do the uh, the, the screw it in from the end, and then I'll I'll drill those pilot holes again through the uh, through the sides, countersink them, and drive that in there. Okay, so next I'm doing the, the top pieces, and I'm showing the little back support that'll be on there, and that'll just be the, I'm using quarter inch plywood for the backing. So here's the tops. You're gonna cut those to size, because it's gonna depend on your angle. So it's, it's pretty, pretty critical you get those exact. Um, actually, each one will probably be a little bit slightly different because those angles and where the, everything mounts is gonna it's going to vary slightly, but again, same process. A lot of glue on there. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll place that on there. I'll I'll counter or I'll drill those and counter bore all those, or counter sink them, and then uh, we'll attach the, all the the tops. Just I just put some weight on it to kind of hold, let the glue set for a little bit on it. Again, now now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mark up the holes, and start drilling and. I'll have my way with it. So there I am working, working pretty fast. Um, just getting everything drilled. You're going to want to go in a light, slight angle on those. Make sure you hit all that right in the center of the MDF. So this is I'm making the uh, that back support for it. So it's again it's going to be cut at that same, basically that same angle. I just kind of set it up and used the the piece as a template and just mark those up. Um, so, and again, I'm doing I'm doing two of these because I'm I'm making two shells. So I'm gonna I'll be just duplicating the same thing again and again. So here I'm I'm showing I'm, I'm gonna be doing the back side of it and attaching that. So, and I'm gonna put that kind of that uh, there's like a, uh, a, a special cut on the back to give it a little bit of of a, fl a flow on the back end. So I'm just marking it out with that gauge, um, and I put a radius on it. Um, so I'll just cut them out, cut both sides out with my skill saw, uh, both the right and the left. And uh, again, what what that's going to be? That's just the on the back support um, of the the bookcase. That's where the the person would sit and it would hold up against the back. So then, once I got that done, now I'm gonna I'm gonna route a a, a fairly heavy um, a roundover bit, and I'm gonna round that over pretty heavy. I just need to do the top top of this. I don't have to do the other sides of it. I I mean both both the back and front. Um, so I'll, I'll basically just run through both of the pieces through the uh, um, through my router, and uh, it makes a it makes it really nice because that's where you're typically gonna be. Um, leaning and grabbing onto, so it just it just feels good when you when you're touching that. Okay, so I'm I'm basically going to attach that back 
piece to it to support. Um, again, I already, already got it pre-drilled and, and countersunk, and I'm just attached with a bunch of screws. I glued it down. Um, just a piece of three-quarter inch pine. So now I'm going to rip a bunch of quarter inch plywood. It's just some oak stuff I had sitting around I want to get rid of, so I'm, I'm just going to use it. You definitely want to use something small, light like a quarter or a quarter inch. You don't want to be using anything heavy for that. It's already the, the bookcase is heavy enough. So I'm going to I'm just cutting the the uh, the the back pieces to the right length. There's a, I'm, there'll be several pieces I have to do. So um, there's the two longer pieces, and I'm going to have to do a couple little angled pieces on the side. Um, so first I'll just I'll just get these all brad nailed in for the, the two long pieces and you can see those those two kind of kind of triangular pieces that I'll have to uh, to cut for both the right and the left. So these are the little shelves I just cut the piece. There's a, just a piece of quarter inch hardboard with had a, had a white laminate on it. Um, so here's the this little triangle piece. So I I took and cut a piece of that. Uh, pine with a 15 degree angle then I can use it to reverse this guy to get the right cut so I'll just I'll just run this this through my uh, my sled um, it gets the perfect angle on each of those so once I have that in I'm just gonna basically just put those all in and I'll just brad no mail um, both the right and left side on on the top and the bottom one yeah it's kind of going together like a big puzzle Okay, so this just a few photos I'll run through. So it's all done. I basically, um, what I end up doing is, so all those holes in there, I'm, I'm going to just sand this all down. And then for the holes, I'm, I'm just going to fill those. Uh, I just used some wood putty and filled all the holes. So I had to fill them a couple times. They were kinda, I, I made them kind of deep on purpose to make sure they, they filled and, the, and it wouldn't come out. So after I sanded it, um, what I'm going to do is I'll just take and I'll, uh, I'll put a... Uh, uh, a coat of um, a primer on it, which that's what I put on there. I just used I used some Kills primer that I had again, just stuff that I had laid around the house. So it was a it was a wood primer, uh, just a latex, and so that's that was the the primer. So it came out pretty well. So th this is the the basically the final product. Um, it still needs to get uh, to be painted, uh, which will happen in, in the near future. Um, if I if I get get it done, I'll I'll post some final pictures of it. Um, overall, it, it was a pretty simple project. Uh, nothing challenging on it. Um, price wise, there actually it was pretty inexpensive. The 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 MDF was only about thirty no, less than thirty bucks a sheet. So you got a four by eight sheet, and I and I just had to get one extra little small piece. So you're probably gonna have to invest. I would say between maybe forty dollars, fifty at the most per. Per bookcase so for under a hundred dollars you can get two pretty decent bookcases so um, subscribe to my channel if you would um, and leave any comments in the comment section and I'll try to reply to you thanks